The Democratic Republic of Congo is home to 75 million people, and most of them are followers of the Christian faith. This former colony, once known as the Belgian Congo, is populated by over 200 different, mostly Bantu-speaking, tribal ethnic groups. The citizens of the Democratic Republic of Congo are among the poorest people in the world due to warfare, government corruption, and widespread disease. And yet, its vast lands are estimated to hold $24 trillion worth of valuable minerals such as copper, diamonds, gold, and cobalt. And the nation possesses a great wealth in timber as well. So for those reasons, the Democratic Republic of Congo is often considered to be the richest country in the world in terms of natural resources. The nation also has an excellent supply of fresh water. Its heavy annual rains help to create the mighty Congo River, which is the third largest river on Earth, based on the amount of water it carries. The Congo flows thousands of miles across the country before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. It is fed by many streams that flow down from the mountains and huge lakes of the Western Rift Valley, which is basically a giant crack in the earth where the African continent is slowly splitting apart. The enormous heat and pressure created by the tectonic activities in the Rift Valley area has created some high peaks, such as the Renzori Mountains, seen here, as well as several volcanoes, including Mount Niragongo, which is still very active. Most of the vast Congo River Basin, which covers 390,000 square miles of territory, is occupied by the Congo Rainforest, a massive expanse of lush jungle. The Congo rainforest is the second largest rainforest in the world after the Amazon, and it possesses incredible biodiversity, meaning that an extremely wide range of animal and plant species live here. They include chimpanzees, rare giraffe-like okapes, white rhinos, mountain gorillas, chimp-like bonobos, and forest elephants. Unfortunately, poverty, corruption, and warfare have endangered the Congo rainforest. As a result, lots of valuable forest habitat is being destroyed each day. Elephants are being slaughtered in huge numbers for ivory. Rhinos are being killed for their horns. And lots of other creatures including monkeys, chimps, and gorillas, are being killed for their meat. In fact, the Democratic Republic of Congo is the center of quite a big trade in bush meat. Bush meat is another word for the meat of wild animals. In big cities like Kinshasa, bush meat is even sold commercially. And it's popular because it is much less expensive than other types of meat. Logging is responsible for taking a lot of the trees out of the Congo rainforest, and quite a large amount of it is being done illegally. But in addition, impoverished people are clearing the forest to create new farmland in order to plant essential food crops like corn, which is the mainstay of their diet, as well as to raise bananas. And cassava, plants which produce starchy roots like these that are peeled with a knife, cut up, boiled, and eaten like potatoes. Besides clearing the land to grow food crops like cassava, most people also depend on trees for nearly all of their cooking fuel. That's why it's so common in this region of Africa to see people with bicycles struggling to haul big bags of firewood and charcoal back to their homes. Naturally, with millions of people cutting down trees to use for cooking fuel, it's not surprising that the rainforests in the western and central region of Africa may be in danger of disappearing in the not-too-distant future.